was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Pressing on. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the Founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They had nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Get you a drink or anything while you wait. Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? Either to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey? Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Not the fish there, son. Come and have a look. Don't be shy. Fresh cuts. Fresh cuts. Get your fresh cuts here.
decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed... ...to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own... We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. No holding back. Ugh! <laughs> 
Let's make this quick.
There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. I... I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I'll beg you. The light, if it... I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left.
Paris has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Thank you for bringing us the physic. Would that we were not so alone. I wish I had a bow to call my own. Fresh cut! Fresh cut! Don't be shy! Don't be shy! 
turnips. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. Come we here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. <sighs> I knew a girl, back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. Saviour. Just a conceited old fool. 
I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else, but at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Well then. To Eastbow's men. I have to find him before. Can't talk now, I. Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here, if you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the whole time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right, you don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands.
There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. But it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. Any luck? Yours, I presume. You found it! Oh, thank you! Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you.
You barely have to step out your front. That's one of our branded. You can't have go far. I better keep my eyes peeled. Lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. Oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. Only to be betrayed by a friend. been running errands for Martha. You can do a lot worse. I'll be fucked if I'm leaving. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse, torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Yeah. 
Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this.